Hello everybody, welcome back to another stream here on the X-Wing SHG channel. My name is Daniel and with me today is Germany's team captain of the XTC, Benedict. Hi. Good evening. How Happy to be here. Yeah, I'm really excited for the game. The All the games that we had on stream uh, and the streams themselves have been an absolute blast so far. And um, yeah, we're looking for uh, a decision here who is going to take the lead between Germany and Ukraine. It is two and two right now between those two in round two of the XTC 2021. We have Sasha Wagner playing against Pavel Kaimakov. Uh, Sasha's playing a disciplined swarm of uh, barons with tracers and some of them have rockets. And uh, on the separate separatist side oh, the logos are switched again let me just fix that real quickly there we go uh, and he's playing uh, the two fire sprays on the separatist side yeah you probably are familiar with them and uh, yeah so how are how is Germany doing right now at the moment uh, so they're two and two correct Absolutely. We started 0-2 uh, on the first evening of, of round two, right after, right after the pairings, uh, which came <laughs> a bit of a shock, yeah. <laughs> especially because it was Timo who lost his first match. He, he, I mean, you guys, you guys saw it on stream probably, but yeah, he, yeah, the, he committed the the that's the number one. He, he flew a ship off the table, one of his two, and it was oh, that was not good to watch. And then the second match later that evening, Min, with his resistance list, uh, had a, a really good start, I would say. He yeah. started the game, uh, we got a good en first engagement. I was like, okay, this game is safe. And suddenly, high FOs refused to die, and then it went down really, really bad. Oh. And, then it got, and then it got ugly, and uh, I was like, okay, Sir and two. But uh, I mean, it's just two games, right? That's that's uh, why nothing to worry about if you have seven games. And uh, luckily, we could turn it around a bit. Yeah. Um, one day later, or two days later, and uh, now we're two and two. Although the game yesterday, uh, oh, that, that was a really was good game. Of me, that was a really really fun game to watch. But you know, uh, to watch, but um, as a as. A, well, from our from our point of view, is watching our, our teammate uh, circling around those X wings and uh, relying on his dice a couple of times. Uh, that was uh, nerve wracking. Yeah, the, the <laughs> six green die into one evade and five blanks. That was just like, oh I mean, my I, god! <laughs> right, and I and I mean, Ilias was was really uh, delivering a really good match and and performed really well. But with those Jedi's, if you have one bad roll, then yeah, it could be over. And go down so so quickly, like you saw in my first match in, in round one. Uh, but again, every, everything went fine, and now we're two and two uh, with uh, our fourth teammate Jan deliver, delivering a really good game yesterday with his with his first order list. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Not not much really you can say about that, right? Because he he perfectly engaged, and then the the Ukraine. Uh, the, the Ukrainian resistance list went down as expected. That was really good. Uh, yeah, but let's see. Let's see how this goes. I think this was the. Yeah, because this Chen and Sango list, at uh, uh, Chengo Sam list, is a bit different from the the usual, the usual suspects, right? Because there are no Sith on on board, and also no thermal detonators. Uh, uh, yeah, nice. no bombs, no force crew, which seems um really off meta uh i mean the forest crew of course is very very strong this uh undeniable undeni um dice modifier that you have with the force um yeah this is going to be really interesting and um when i saw, took a look at, at the lists in the first place uh, i was uh, looking at the, that list as well um i think we we talked about it a little bit when we had our like uh xtc uh, pre-tournament talk uh, on stream yeah, right. and we were wondering uh, ourselves then why he didn't choose the force crew I mean he has perceptive co-pilot which is pretty cool um, which can it can be good especially if, if several ships are, sh are shooting on you are shooting at you yes uh, yeah. that, that's true um, but 
if you get blocked, uh, there's no focus action, so no two focuses from perspective, uh, perspective co-pilot. But uh, we will see how he's going to fly. If we take a look at the matchup uh, per se, so we have Sasha Wagner. He's playing uh, one, two, three, four, five, six barons of the empire. All have disciplined. Uh, four of them have prockets and two of them have, have threat traces. I played against Sasha with that exam, exact same list in the uh, league in the German TTS league that we have. Mm. And he just like obliterated me. Uh, I played. This is such a scary list because it, I I I can't understand or I, I can't believe that those six ships fit in one list with upgrades and ornaments and and all of them. And there are there six ships, so that is so ridiculously cheap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and also also especially with the discipline upgrade because discipline is it's just one point, right? It's it's so cheap, and those barons, those generic barons, have a talent slot. I mean, uh, I think that's the that's one of the, the strongest discipline lists because there are a few around, right? With the high interceptors, also the yeah. Rider, right? uh, a few combinations. But I think that's definitely the, the strongest list because just the mere size of the of the list with six ships and then discipline, all of that, and especially all of them can attack with five dice at least once a game, and that's that's so strong. And they're so maneuverable, as you can see here right now, uh, mm -hmm. how they're like moving. They have these uh, crazy things they can um, boost and or barrel roll, uh, not and or, but they can boost or barrel roll in, into a linked focus, which makes them so strong. They have like an absolutely crazy dial, uh, especially the blue heart one is so strong. And if you have like six of them, they're so cheap, absolutely cheap. And since we know uh, that we won't have a points update until like fall, that's what AMG announced in some, I think it was a Facebook comment or something like that, or Twitter comment. Um, so we will see these cheap barons and, or the cheap inquisitors for quite a while. Right, and especially because they, we, we don't have to fear uh, the thermals, which can qu cover quite a lot of, of the area, and there's all, and there's only the proximity mines, and also the guaranteed crit uh, due to the lack of, of Doko. Doko is also not in the mix, so I think Sasha will fare pretty well against those fire sprays. Because what I wanted to say earlier, when we talked about the perceptive co-pilot, we uh, rely on the action to have the double focus and fire sprays, and that makes them so good. Also have the, the boost action yeah and uh, that makes them way less maneuverable i think because yeah. they need they need the the perceptive co-pilot or the focus action to to get mods and uh, especially with six enemy ships on the table uh i think maneuverability is, is the key here for the double fire spray i mean he has some other gimmicks which the chango sandals usually don't have like the lone wolf on chango which is at the moment not really effective because he's flying his ships close yeah. together and also sam with the trick shot uh but i don't see how this will help him here and plus he okay this is <laughs> okay so sam cornered her herself voluntarily and Chengu comes along okay well, let me just mark uh the color so we have Django fat is the red fire spray and sam is the yellow one they're pretty cornered right now. I mean, um, yeah. and 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 Sasha, like he he built up something like like a a net of barons, and they are coming like from all sides. Ooh, Zem Wessel does not have a shot. Uh, did he check? But did he check? No, he checked. He's checking Chengwei. Yeah. Yeah, it should have been the other way around. Yeah. But okay, so at least brown and pink are too far away for for the rockets. And the red has the tracer. Mm. Okay, so at least no progress is turned. Yeah. Yeah, but still not the best position because the other the other three ties will close in next round somehow. And um, well, let's see how he gets out of this corner. Okay. Good roll so far. Force would be nice here. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> to not spend yeah, the focus from action. Moment. Yeah. Oh, focus. but you know, it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it is, they, there was one shield and the focus, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, yeah. for them, it's it's um, actually 
Actually, it could be good if one of his barons dies in the right moment, then he gets the discipline target locks. Mm -hmm. For free, basically, and can do another uh, barrel shenanigan. Oh, and also, if we haven't focused the previous round uh, the, in the, during the activation phase, we can still do the linked action with Disciplined, right? Uh, I think so, yes. Yeah, because we do the barrel action and then we can link it to a focus. Let's take a look at, at the card. Okay. Disciplined, after another friendly ship at range 0 to 3 is destroyed, if that is ship if that ship is limited or has the Discipline upgrade, you may perform a target lock or barrel action. So, yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can link, link after that, yeah. Yeah, and, and just, Im just imagine you have a bump uh, Thai Baron, and then he, you know, he barrel rolls off the, the, the block ship, gets the focus action, shoots his procket. I mean, especially if the uh, if the, the bump ship already shot, uh, has taken al already his shot. Yeah. So that's a shot from the Red Baron, two hits. And one goes through. Goes through. So that is one shield off of Django. And one shield off Django hurts him more than one shield off the Thai Baron. Absolutely. So Pinky has a shot on Zam here. Hit crit. Hit crit. Nice. I mean, they only, if they don't use like pockets, they only have two di uh, dice. But if it's like six. And especially if no. the defensive roles are like that, then uh, yeah, it's, they, it's they do damage. Hard. Yeah, death by a thousand cuts. So, no. Zamp Wessel also losing a shield. Without having done nothing, anything in return. Yeah. So, and you absolutely know where the fire sprays are going to be. <laughs> right. Yep, yep. Can set up a nice block. Next shot for nothing this time. Did Red already shoot? Uh, yeah, that was the first shot. That uh, was the one ah, okay. that took the shield off of. Uh, All right, no, I didn't use the traces because the tracer is also range limited, right? Yeah, it's one to three on the defender. So that's probably why he didn't use the traces because only three of his ships could. Yeah. What, what is the exact wording? So I'll spend one charge. If this attack hits, each friendly yeah. ship at range one to three of the defender may yeah. acquire a lock on the defender, then cancel yeah, the dice results. Yeah, that's Yeah, you want to do that if you have like at least four, maybe five uh, of your barons in range of the defended, uh, defending, shield, uh, de right. defending ship uh, so that those will pay off. I mean, he has yeah. four of them and only two uh, enemy ships, so pretty useful yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, en enough traces. And I mean, he took a off a shield with his attack, so that's, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. All uh, right, so is there any, any way the fire spray, the fire sprays won't go down to the board edge? I don't I mean, think so. I mean, uh, if you want to be like cheeky with Django, you do a hard one and don't care about the debris. Uh, to I think that this uh, one he will also land in front of the debris. I don't think he will clip it. Uh, um, I mean, you, he could, you, he could he could use his because the, this fire spray build has a cybernetics on the fire spray, so he could. Activate the cybernetics and go over the tri the free field, right? Yeah, or do the, or, the or do something like a K turn, maybe even. Which try might try to avoid the him. block. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, depending on what what brown and pink. Do, I mean, but he could end up without a shot on on those two if we slow roll. Yeah, I mean, if it does a, like a four K, um, I'm not sure about Zam here. I mean, it's. He is still um, a little bit like in the middle of the obstacle. I know for, for small base ships is if you are not behind the obstacle uh, in range mm -hmm. to the mat, then 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 uh, of the board edge, then that will fit. Like yeah. range two, uh, the four 4K fits. Uh, but I don't know about this medium base. Uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that 
Sam could also do a 4K. Okay. So this might be an option because uh, Sasha could try to go for the block and set up uh, Brown maybe like somewhere like next to the debris field here. Mm hmm. It should just go too forward. Yeah, something like that. And boost in maybe. Yeah. So two games. Uh... One day after each other. So we had yesterday the game um, with with Illy playing against mm -hmm. Sandram. Uh, today we have Sasha versus Pavel. Uh, I know that tomorrow at uh, five thirty. Uh, no, it's like it's uh, three thirty UTC. So five thirty PM uh, CT, like okay. like German mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to stream this game. I'm getting like a big delivery around that time um, and I maybe would have had to to stop the stream in the middle of the game ah, or stop commentating. Uh, so uh, it, it's up for streaming and I think uh, Starfighter Italia is uh, interested in the game. If you type in exclamation point XTC, you'll get a link to the homepage of the XTC. There's also uh, a page where you can find the Twitch or YouTube a page of every single account that is streaming uh, XTC games. That is so well organized. Yeah, like, absolutely. And and it's like like we had like uh, yesterday I had like over 110 viewers on on um, uh, last week I had like 90 viewers. It's like really amazing for just like a midweek uh, mm -hmm. game. So you can see like how uh, how big of a hype the XTC is like. The X-Wing community or, or all around the world is, is like really, really, really interested in, in, in this format and everybody's like hyping for their team and stuff like that. Um, and like every time I'm asking you again in Twitch chat, so uh, today where are you all from? Yesterday we had people from like South Africa, Australia, uh, Ireland, Germany of course, uh, USA, uh, it, was, it was great. Uh, Greg from Nickel City X-Wing was commentating with me. We had mm -hmm. a lot of fun. He's a really cool guy. I really like his streams. And uh, yeah, so uh, we're also looking for a giveaway goal. So if you'd like to um, subscribe and support the stream a little bit, if we reach 50 subs by the end of the Swiss of the XST, which is, I think, somewhere around end of June um, uh, or July. I'm not sure. At the end. So somewhere there. If we reach like 50 subs, then uh, I will do some nice giveaways with uh, lots of cards and tokens for the X-Wing miniature game. Sure. Nice. So uh, you, were, you were talking about the other German uh, matches, uh, German-Ukrainian matches, which are still on. So tonight, uh, Catch is playing. Yeah. He's also playing. Uh, so, he's sometime on. after our game, he's playing on Hexalt. So that's mm -hmm. where... Uh, so don't go away if this game ends. We will take all you viewers and we are going to raid Hexiled Gaming. Even though Scott is stealing my games, the German ones. It's quick. Yeah, he's, he was quick on that on that on that uh, Google table that was set up to see like the the, the players could um, type in when they are going to play their match, and then we as a streamer could uh, fill in like a, the bracket for the game and if you wanted to stream the game. And Scott was just like faster and he took away my especially, he took away my German the, games. Yeah, your German games, especially because he's a few hours behind, right? Because uh, uh, this, is, this is all happening pretty much. Yeah, he's like Eastern time. time. So it's like um, it's like 1 p.m. Like quarter past 1 p.m. Eastern time right now. I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, so, something like that. As, did, did does Django have a shot here? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it, right? No. So and uh, trying to focus on the game. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, so <laughs> Zam did the 4K and which, uh, Django which did he attempt to do the 4K? I'm, I cannot see the dial. There is no stress token. Yeah, he did. He did try to do it actually. Does he have a stress or did we miss the stress? I, I don't stress. see one. No, I think we forgot. Yeah, we we will wait if they can figure it out themselves. Mm -hmm. Although, otherwise, we're going to inform a judge on the Discord. That's how we streamers should behave in cases like this. So anyway, in this case, def the shot was defended. 
next Baron. Oh, there's the Procket. Ouch. This could hurt. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, just it's just one of two Prockets. <laughs> There's the first one. Oh, that, oh, that's that's what you want to see. That's yeah. what you want to see. Oh wow! Let's see what Django can defend. Uh, yeah, that's not the roll yet. Oh. That was no roll. No, <laughs> no. That, it's still no roll. Cross me. <laughs> Wait, what? It was just a flip of the dice. Whatever. So, seems like both are okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> with uh, Django taking four. Here's the next one. No, that's that's the primary, actually. Okay. Sa sa pay. Saving up the procket, maybe? Why? Why would you? Kill him. Use the procket. Sasha, go for the procket. Here we go. No? Yes? No? Maybe so? Nah. <laughs> uh, by the way, we have a, a 90 second uh, stream delay. So if we're not reacting mm. like in time for anything mm. chat is saying, then uh, yeah, keep in mind we have a 90 second delay. So only one goes through. Only one for the procets. But I mean, in, in total it's fine, right? Two procets. And uh, all shields off and two damage cards. Yeah. Uh, he, of him. So Django is uh, down to four hull, gave up half points, so 52 points, uh, 51 point lead for Sasha. Without doing anything in return, because neither of the fire sprays yeah. has a shot. That's true. That's really unfortunate for them. Uh, oh, and I'm just seeing in the chat. Yeah, Django used the cybernetics. Uh, wow. Yeah, there's the charge of the of, of the cybernetics. That's why he did not uh, take the stress. Why? Hey, that's not how it works. No, that's not how it works. You can, I mean, you can perform actions and execute red maneuvers even while you're stressed. Oh, stress and there, there's the stress marker. I just see it now. Next to the base. Might have put it there yeah, later, yeah. or we missed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, very good. Then we don't have to do anything and call judges and board now. Yeah. All right. So he did use... Oh, why did he use this? Oh, you used the cybernetics on both of his ships. I mean, even if... Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, the charge is gone. And even, even if... Uh, but why is there a stress Zem. token next to Zam? Hmm? There's, a, there's a stress token. It's all good. Wait, both did the oh, yeah, yeah. But I, still, I got confused. Still, I mean, I mean, I mean <laughs> I, why did he... I'm also confused. Why did he activate his cybernetics? Because he, he must have seen that Django couldn't complete the 4K because Zam was standing in the way, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, I, so many question marks. What's I happening? also did did <laughs> did not get the proximity mine. There was no way that any of such a ships is going to land in that proximity mine, and it's also not covering up like a passage where the uh, barons like to go through. So the four Ks. I mean, even if the fire sprays would have completed the four Ks, then the yeah the barons. Would have been free of all proximity mines because he's he's uh, showing his butt to the board edge. So, oh whatever. Yeah. Uh, um, so Django no contraband cybernetics left, but he definitely. I mean, he doesn't have to. He could. I think if he does a one bang, it would. It can. Still, keep him on the board. And next turn, he could do a hard one, but. I mean, with the cybernetics, he could at least uh, do a, a hard turn and still have an action, but this way... Hmm. It's 
actually not that much that Sasha can do wrong now because his his green and yellow Baron can safely close in and set up the uh, only the yellow doesn't have a procket, but the, the green one has. So we can set up and wait for for them to come where they and uh, he could use one of his barons closer to the bondage to to block Django. Yeah. Okay. It's like like really hard for Django to get out of there now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there comes the browser man. It's just in case one of the barons yeah. wants to jump over the Django, but there's actually no need to. He could just stay there where he is and just have the, the barons bump into each other and into Django. Yeah, fun walk in the chat making fun of me because uh, I got confused because of the stress. Of course you take the stress with cybernetics. You just Yeah, and he's right to make fun of me. No, yeah. yeah, he absolutely is. <laughs> <laughs> I should know better. So, I mean, you cover up a little bit of no-go area for uh, the Barons with the second proximity mine here. Yeah, well, but I still just can dance around it. I mean, Yellow can just hard one in or, you know, go through the, the, the pre field. I mean, it yeah. doesn't really matter yeah. at this moment. Do you think, and there's no way Django can get out of there because even the, the hard two to the right won't clear, I think. Yeah, oh, that's boy. probably And there's he has green doing a linked action. And even if Django goes this way, then green waits for him. With the procket. With uh, the procket, man. <laughs> so let me just quick check who already, so blue spent his procket. Inked it as well pink did as well that's it and that's... red says red and brown did lose a shield each so that's it uh red lost a shield yeah so and brown okay now now i got the overlay right i think jungle this time has a yeah. shot on pink. Wait, no, seems no, not like. No, he's, he's going for yellow. He's going for yellow. Yeah. <clears throat> and Sam will probably go for red. Uh, yeah. Forest is so much better. You you yeah. you would have had. Forest is always better. Yeah. Most of the time. So, but yellow takes one again. So uh, Sasha not 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 really good on the on the evades here, but yeah, but, still has uh, the I mean, upper hand. So, I mean, if you with those with those tie advanced, we won. You you have to focus fire to to kill the bastards. But if you start sp spreading the damage, then there's no way to win this. I think yeah. because now you have you spread the damage uh, among three of the barons. Uh, And now we have yeah, the range one shot into the red one, probably. One, two. Hit crit only. And... Oh, wow. wow. Oh, what, a, what do we have? Your league, okay. That's not too important. How many points is one of the one of the type barons? Uh, 31 or 34 if they have a procket. I could also look at the list of my teammate myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, Red did take the fuel league, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's what, and the, the, this is one of the cheaper ones. The the tracer barons are thirty one, and the other ones are thirty four. Oh, that's so cheap. Okay. So this is a yellow shooting with the tracer. Mhm. Mm Three hits. So that's uh, an automatic hit because this is not obstructed. I think. Yeah. All right. So everyone gets a target lock, and this is not a target lock action. Yeah, you get the target all, lock. You get a target all, lock. You get all a of the guys get a target Everybody lock. Everybody gets a target lock. All the distressed ones. 
So, so yellow but... used one tracer. <clears throat> so now they're looking for their target locks. Sasha needs to decide. No, I mean, this thing. Yeah, everybody's in range three of yeah, the. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you have to you have to take a target lock on the defender, so there's no, there are no options and nothing to think about actually. Oh, look at those target locks. <laughs> so many locks. Nope, nope. I mean, you could think about. Um. Oh no, you don't, it, 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 uh, the Django. Uh, so both proximity mines are off Django, right? Uh, so yes. There shouldn't be a charge left. Uh, but I we will realize that. Yeah. So there you go. Using the target lock for hit crit. Mm -hmm. Uh, my focus. Crit goes no through. What's the crit? crit, crit, crit. It is... Structural! Oh, Ooh. Ooh. That hurts. That's actually one of the bad ones. <laughs> yeah, and especially with the first shot play. coming in this round. Oh, structural is harsh. Mm -hmm. Now a range one shot. There we go. No, don't need a target lock or anything oh, if you just roll hated crit. I mean that that is maybe like evening out for the three that, that, three that blanks. Django. Yeah, and Django's gone. Yes, no, Sam has to perform. Oh yeah, like really, really well. <laughs> and Sam actually should go to the left, hard to the left to avoid one of Django's props mines, which is lying there. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, and you just get you just get blocked again. I mean, uh, Brown is going to do a hard one to the left. Uh, you might even think about doing some little bit of self bumping action to get like more range one shots on Zam. Yeah, and the, and yellow could just because those bastards also have a, a, a one bank, so he could just do a one bank. Yeah, uh, and avoid the prox mine. So here's uh, the shot on Zam. Mm -hmm. For two hits. And oh, nothing. Through. Nothing. What about the condition? So this is yeah. a satisfying match for everyone who has lost a lot the versus separatist, <laughs> separatist fire sprays. <laughs> Uh, Telonius in the chat saying it's OP that traces aren't in action. I mean, you could leave them like they are. They're just like way too cheap. Yeah, two points. I would I would make them like four points and then it's... They're it's and they would still points. be good. Yeah. One. Okay. One, two. No focus. No, there was no point. One, two, one. And... Oh, and another gone. two blanks. And the crit goes through. Uh, shields are... Shields are gone and the crit is oh this game might be fuel over leak. soon fuel, fuel leak. leak yeah this might not go to the end of time I think. no we have like 43 minutes left in the game this could be over in like Nothing. 20 minutes mm -hmm. but you'll never know you'll never know no, with, 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 with Sam's shenanigans, I mean, he needs to get out of this corner. Yeah. Otherwise, he won't last two more rounds. But, I mean, with the Sam shenanigans, double attack around. But then he would also need a bit of luck from his dice. Yeah. Otherwise, this won't work against so many barons with so much green dice. Yeah. 
Absolutely. That's, that's, the, that's the bonus attack. And that's two evades, so nothing. Yeah. Save this time. I wonder if even if even the, the standard version of Chango Sam would have helped in this in this case. I mean you would have the force users ready because of the, due to the stress and, and the bumps and, and all of that, but yeah. still going down with both ships into one corner, especially if you have Lone Wolf on one of the ships. Um was maybe the key mistake which was made during this game. Probably. And, Sa and Sasha spread out his barons, looked where the fire sprays went, and then just closed in. Yeah. Because they, the fire sprays were in one spot. Yeah. So. Um, Pavel got like cornered way too soon. Uh, there. I mean, he's just like committed to do, to go in, in in the left bottom corner from our point of view, and that was just like, uh, yeah, the barons were in the happy place then. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Oh man. So next round. So um I mean yellow probably not doing too much for Zam next round because he will not go straight into that proximity mine. Yeah. So green well, green probably doing like a hard one to the left. Uh, blue. What could blue do? Hard. Stay blue. there. Stay there. Like do a little self bump into red, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, I like well. that. And then uh, the traces. Traces are red, so yeah, red needs to. Probably best if, if red sets up the block, mm -hmm. then he won't get shot at. And yellow has a tracer left. <laughs> Be the one bank just puts yellow just between the the debris field and the prox mine and it could take a focus and, and have the, the tracer shot at, at Sam. Yeah. Oh man. This is really bad. And I'm really trying to to be impartial here, not for the not for the German player, but I I don't see that many options for Sam. Mm. No, not really. Okay, so Sasha didn't trust the one bank to fit in. Yeah, maybe there. maybe like uh, trying to set up a block if Sam just like yolos over the one proximity <laughs> mine. <laughs> One bank self bump. Yeah. Bump, just staying there. Another self bump. Yeah, absolutely, abs absolutely correct decision here. Yeah. Just trying to keep the fire spray corner there. Yeah, and also if if Sam if, if Sam just stays put there, then she doesn't have a, a, shot, a range one shot at any of those ties sitting nope. there. The other ones are behind the pre-cleaned. And in range three. Oh, she fit, oh, she fit nice. there. Uh, but still, but, she's stuck there. Uh, but at least she gets an action, right? Yeah, double focus. Take away the stress. Okay, that was probably the best option. And that's the end. Two charges left. So he, pro he probably shows the fire back on the attacker. Yeah. Ability. Which is, yeah, which might be useful against the brown one. Yeah, but he should definitely shoot at red now because red. <laughs> yeah, but he should. If... So, <laughs> Sasha is making suggestions there. Um, if he shoots down red, that might actually benefit Sasha a lot. Yeah, with all the target locks coming in there. Because right now they don't have mods. So, which is good for Zam. Mm -hmm. But still, he has to he has to do something and take what at least one of the barons from the from the board this this round. Okay, those are five dice. That's one too many. Five dice. 
Ah, uh, trickshot. Trickshot. Trickshot on green. Yeah. yeah. But why is he shooting? Only three. Yeah, I can spend the focus. Mm -hmm. And it's absolutely fine. Oh well. Here go the ties. Let's see how many dam how much dam the damage they are going to do this turn. Uh, two hits. That is good. That is above average. Good chance for maybe one to go through. Mm -hmm. There we go. That is another hit coming in. Every crit now that uh, is going into Zam will hurt double because of the fuel leak. Mm -hmm. One. Just one that could be evaded. Yeah, absolutely fine. So this is uh, the bonus shot from... Uh from Zam. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Only one evade. Ah, blue okay, losing two shield. Blue. Yeah. But at least not the crit coming through. Mm. So next shot into Zam here for nothing. Nothing. And I think that was it. That was it. Yeah. Nobody else that can shoot. So uh, Zam probably dropping uh, a bomb on, on, red. on red here. A mine, I mean. A proximity mine. Yeah, but that's cool because Discipline will also trigger because that's not limited to an attack. That's just if a friendly ship at range assuming two, three is destroyed. Yeah noise so all of them get the target lock or could reposition if we choose to and link and then do a blue maneuver and do yeah they're not stressed more stuff. this is so cool it just says if it is it is destroyed it does not have to be like while defending or anything like that so so sasha could could uh calculate that in his maneuver choice because one damage is Guaranteed with the proximity mine, so red is definitely going down. Mm -hmm. And then he could, you know, for example, with um, brown and pink, he could dial in a hard one to the left. Oh, he's not dropping a mine, so he's avoiding that. Oh, okay. Yeah, he doesn't know. Well, no, what, no, what I was going to say, he could do the dial in the hard one and then. Uh, no. no, so he just uh, accidentally touched Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you try dial in hard one with pink and brown, and then uh, use discipline to barrel roll to the right. Focus, uh, link focus, and then clear the stress doing the maneuver and uh, something something else like boost or what? Yeah, that's the only action that is left. Then or take a target lock for sure. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Uh, the best maneuver for Zam probably is something like maybe the three bank to the left. I mean, and why not kill Red here? I mean, at one point or the other, you're going to get all the target locks on you anyway. I mean, you he have should, to, you should, have he, to he kill a to, ship. Yeah, yeah, he ha he has to start killing ships right now, this moment, because yeah. he won't last another two rounds, I think. Yeah.
already stressed, right? So no turnaround maneuver for him. So just the one, I mean red. If Sam does decide not to drop a bomb on mine, then red lives and just does a hard one to the right, clearing the stress and then coming in next turn. Yeah. But I, he will do it. Yeah, it's a little I, bit of I will definitely do it. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mind game right now. Are you expecting the mine? Are you expecting red to die? Are you expecting uh, the discipline trigger uh, and then calculating that in for your maneuver? Uh, or do you think, okay, he thinks he's, that I am going to drop a mine, so I will not drop a mine. So maybe to, to uh, mess with his uh, dials what that the? he said. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit tricky yeah. situation right now. Yeah, but uh, I mean, if he, for, for example, for pink and brown, if he dials in a one heart to the left, it doesn't matter if he can barrel roll beforehand or not. So that's actually not not that much of a risk. He could. What, the, what is he doing? What is Sash doing with the blue one? Blue could just. Hmm. I have a 4K and a 2 talent roll, I think. Yeah. There's the mine. And red goes down. Yeah. Bam. No need to roll the dice. He got the target logs. <laughs> yep, yep. Bye bye, ready. That's so mean. Well, let's, let's see what Sasha does. Maybe he does some something to roll that. Yeah. See? See, see, see. He's probably doing it. What's happening? So, right so, confusion. I mean, it's obvious that everybody yeah. is in range one to three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here he goes. So Brown, yeah, probably doing a part one. This is so good. This card is just this upgrade card is just one point. Oh man, together <laughs> with those cheap generic okay. fuckers. Yeah, <laughs> that is so amazing. It's like I mean, it's awesome. advanced it's awesome. sensors, linked stuff, and then look removing the stress. Look at that. That is. Three actions for each ship. Yeah, absolutely amazing. I mean, I would, I would have still dropped the, the proximity mine on red. Yeah, sure, of course either, you have to. Way, you still. have to. And, and those two are just taking target locks because they don't need anything else. Or maybe yellow is doing a barrel roll to the left as well, and then doing a hard one. Yeah, that's the to the left is not hard one. That's re that it's, that's that's dangerous, I think. I'm not. So sure if you could clear the prox mine. If you do like a barrel roll to the back? Yep, yep. I mean... Yeah, it's, the, it's oh, look. oh, he's, he's trying. He's it's trying, close. he's trying. Oh no, it's, it's no. too close, <laughs> I guess. Oh, no. Hell no, especially because this, this yellow guy already lost the shield, so that's... That could potentially kill him. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Maybe he's hoping for uh, that that uh, uh, for him to die, and then everybody gets a target lock as well. No, nobody needs a target lock because we're taking it right now. That is so. Oh, that is so oh yeah, evil. they just take it with their regular action. Yeah, but I think <laughs> Blue is going to bump them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but still, look Who at cares? that. <laughs> Who cares? I mean, wow. And there are still two rockets available. Yeah, see. Yeah, okay, okay, you, you were right, you were right. So... No, he, he dies. Might. And... That was just an unnecessary yeah. rescue. It does. Oh, he, he, he dies. <laughs> oh man, oh man. This is going on my feedback list. So, discipline yes, again. Sir. Okay, bring going in that direction. 
<laughs> uh, you have to remove the proximine as well. Oh man, this was so unnecessary. Yeah. That no, was. but I think Sasha took the risk because he wants to keep the game interesting for our sake. So that's probably that's the probably case. Yeah. Sasha, the showbiz man. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> mm -hmm. I was gonna say. So. Yeah. Eh, just a hit. <laughs> Chang Chango does not take anything except for the stress. So, um, one Wrong. proximity, uh, one procket shot. No, that's just a regular shot because pink already spent the procket. Uh, oh, brown. it's pink. Oh, I, oh, I was, I and was brown sorry. doesn't have full eye. Yeah, I mixed up brown and uh, pink. Mm -hmm. Actelion oh. in the chat. Hi, Actelion, uh, saying I never want to play against this imperialist with whatever. Uh, yeah, trust me, you don't. It's it's uh, just like no, you. It's so annoying to play against mm -hmm. it. But it's it's definitely not as annoying as the st standard Chango Sam build. That's just annoying all the time, at least in my opinion. Oh, again, bad roll here. Four dice, three blanks, and a focus. No oh, primary. He chooses. He probably chooses not to be obstructed. Yeah. Two naturals. <sighs> Zam down to two hull. One. Uh, does have a lock. Is going to spend that lock. Brown. Looks like he cannot uh, roll the it's dice. It's oh, there we go. Into it. So, target lock pays off. I just waited because Sam was taking a, a target lock with his uh, condition. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, save this okay, time. Okay. There are all the evades which were missing before. So, not dead yet. So, are there any more shots coming in? No, right? We only had like pink and brown. Yeah. So, Zam is stressed, so might just be doing like a one bank next turn. And this is the opportunity for green here. Part one could even like boost in, or he does, doesn't have to. Just like try to align the bullseye here, try to get out the, the procket off and uh, finish off Zam Wessel. Yeah, green is just turning in one heart. Uh, has a, has already a target lock, so yeah, there, the, there goes the mine. Pink is going around the debris and probably boosting in with a linked focus. Brown could just go five straight. Oh no no no, not five straight. So 
No, you don't want to take the risk again and <laughs> just YOLO over the proximity mine. No, he won't go over the mine, but he would go over the debris field and sit right next and uh, right in front of the, the last train. Uh, which is also not good because he won't have an action to barrel roll off uh, away from the from the stone. Yeah. Um so just then probably just one bank to the left and barrel roll uh, after pink and blue moved out of the way. Not not too sure what blue should do in this, but also blue could do a one heart to the left and barrel roll down. Plenty of options. Yeah. They're just so maneuverable. Awesome dial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you lose in the chat writing both of these lists are two of the most annoying lists in the current meta in my opinion uh yeah, yeah i would agree absolutely yeah, definitely a high level of annoyance in there absolutely <laughs> Okay, going for another for the last perks. I mean, why not? In uh, case. Yeah. Probably thinks uh, I might just like be dead after that round anyway, so. Yeah, that's why. Because it just takes one crit, right? And then the fuel leak goes off. What is that from pink? Hot 2. Boost in. Oh, I don't know if that was already the boost. Whee! That was close. And blue was, is already without shields, so that could have been lethal if we touched the prox mine. Save. Here we go. One bank to the left. Maybe just stay put there. And keep Ark on Sam, if Sam just... Well, we won't have Ark. Yeah. And now we probably just boost and link it to a focus. No, just, just stay there. Okay. I mean, why the, why the stress? Maybe for, for a better option of the... Okay, never mind. <laughs> never this mind. Is... Oh, this was a white maneuver, so... Yeah, it keeps the stress and stays absolutely oh, in the bullseye, is... at the flank, and... Oh... Only... And there comes the Brockel. I mean, he's the... She has a shot, but there's a green with a fully modified Brockel yeah. coming up. Oh, this is so bad. That, I guess this is going to be the end of uh, Zem here. Probably. So, hits. two hits boss. on blue. Oh wow. Blue's dead. And <laughs> blue is dead. Oh my god. If Zam survives this round, which I don't I mean, think this, she will. This was unlucky. The yellow was really stupid, but blue was just unlucky. Oh wow. It had like four dice and had a focus and you just there roll go. four this blanks. Yellow. No. Oh god. <laughs> comes to target lock. I mean, is anybody else in range for a target lock? No, I think pink was out, out of range. But uh, let's, yeah, I think pretty much over right now. Uh, if he has, if he just, if he has one blank and all the other, and four hits, then the game is over. Yeah. Ah, keeping it interesting, so... Oh, we... But has the luck, has the luck. Yeah, yeah, has the luck, yeah. Yeah, this is over. Yeah. Nothing sh she can do against that. Takes and them all. taking it all with a few leaks, so that's five hits. So at least. G G. GG. Sasha giving away more points even than he should have. <laughs> And then again, MOV doesn't really matter. Uh, I think no, not at this point. No, no because you have um, 
round wins, then you have uh, individual wins, wins. Uh, yeah. then you have head to head or whatever you would call it, and then in the I think there's there can be the the constellation that you would rely on MOV if you have three uh, teams with uh, ex the exact number of wins and match wins. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, 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 and a bad head-to-head uh, -head con constellation than MOV, but that's not going to happen. I don't think so. I don't think that. So MOV doesn't matter at all. Yeah, but that still, is true. I mean, <laughs> half the list is gone. Yeah, in a, in a match where you where you thought after round two the game is pretty much over. And now imagine if uh, the two fire sprays would have had force crew, there would have been like two, three, maybe four damage less around the game. So and uh, there might have been a chance. There might have been a chance. And also with tunnels, uh, then uh, this would have gotten a way more uncomfortable for the ties milling around in, in such a close space with thermals detonating around them absolutely so yeah. uh, again congratulations to sasha yay germany is up three wins 